Hey guys, welcome back to Park Tech University. In today's episode, we'll be exploring roof design and detailing so that your roofs on your buildings don't look as boring or plain, so to give them a little bit more character and, I don't know, detailing, basically. Um, first things first is that this is all on vanilla Park Tech, so no mods are installed, construction anarchy is not installed, and no scenery mods are installed at all. So this is all your basic pieces from the game, except for these are right here from the Taste of Venture DLC. So these are pyramid pieces that I used for um, roofing. So let's just get on to some design things that I do for roofing, because roofing is a difficult and thing to get your head around sometimes. So let's just get on to some pieces that are here these are your normal these ones right here these white ones are your normal generic pieces your metal pieces your hanger pieces these are your wet not western these are your um, Halloween pieces and then these are metal steampunk pieces with corresponding white flat sorry flat um, roofing I also want to show you some other pieces that I use for detailing to make roofs more interesting and make them less symmetrical and these are your specialized pieces. These four pieces right here are your specialized roof pieces that are good for spires. These ones are good for spires. These ones are good for high pitched roofs, but they're just very one time use. Like this candy one is really one time use. It's really hard to use it. I haven't really used it in other things, but I can try using it for things. We'll see. These are actual stairs from the adventure pack. Um, but I've used them for roofing. For example, I do this if I want to make a I don't know a textured looking roof. It kind of works a little bit It depends on your what you're going for. So it's kind of the same idea um, These are two domers These are good for making roofs look interesting and so do these. These also make roofs look interesting too. These are awnings that I put on the edges of roofs. So let's just make a simple roof. We'll pick some what do we fancy for today? We'll just use a very generic roof. We'll do a more high pitch roof. Let's place this at five. So usually when it comes to a roof, I stay away from square based layouts or blue, oh yeah, layouts. So instead of a two by two, we want to do a three or longer. And so this is a very simple roof, nothing there. Um, let's make some walls just so, so we can uh... Oh, I should have painted the color first. Let's paint the color first. Let's make it dark gray so we can get some Actually, no, let's do brown so that we can make it a roof. So we're gonna make it like a a Maybe like a um, Swiss house or something very very generic and with a white looking building But we'll just make the building at the bottom here so roofing and the walls usually correspond in the same layout because, well, the walls are supporting your roof. So we're just going to make sure that these are all corresponding with the roof. So I'm not going to do anything to the building itself. That's maybe another, that's going to be another episode about building design detailing. Now we're just going to focus on the roof, make it more detailed and make it look better. So right now, this is a very plain roof. There's nothing to it. It's just your basic surface of high pitch wall and your top. And I want to make this look more interesting to look at instead of how boring it is. So we're going to add some borders on the sides first to add a definition. They'll give it a little bit more connection to the wall it's connected to and the roof will be more identifiable. So now it looks a little bit better. I like that there's a border now on my roof. Now there's a couple different things I can do to make this roof not so plain because right now the, the roof has no texture. It's kind of very plain as it looks. It's really hard to look at. So there's a couple things I can do. I can do this to add some structure struts to give it a little bit more strength to make it look like it's a stronger roof. I can even put these borders on top to give it that more structure. This is more like a a wooden structure roof in a way kind of would be interesting so we're gonna not go for that look I'm gonna go for more of a roof with 
windows coming out on the side of it, so we're probably going to use the domer. So here's my domer. And we're going to uh, switch some colors around. Make sure that our domer actually matches the roof. So we'll just switch the colors around. And there we go, we have our proper colors that match. So usually, if you want to make these look interesting, you want to do this. Here's your domer. Looks better, but there's some details missing. I would add some border pieces to help with the little roof. This goes at points. This goes six grid, and they just sit right here on the corners to help it out. And then, if you really, really wanted to, you can put a window here. So this is a very basic wind window dormer setup. And then, yeah, the roof looks better, but I feel like there's always something missing. So I also like to do taking the domer as well, just doing this little trick on top to actually add some different roofing on top. And it looks interesting, but that's more like a, maybe a barn look or a western look. So we don't need to do that. Um, let's just fix these windows, though. We're going to put some windows here. And just put the windows inside of the... Uh, Freeform, they're just they're no grid, so just do that. There you go, windows. Then eh, it looks more interesting. Um, this little trick I like to do on top of some roofing is to use a cylinder, make it at 0.15, and do this across the roof. Now, I learned this from another builder, his name is Pierre, and this actually works out pretty well if you want to do some type of tile roofing on top. Kind of. It's kind of like tile roofing. It's not like my tile roof uh, tutorial. That requires construction anarchy to get into those crazy angles or those crazy um, heights. Well, it's more precise heights. So this is trying to make the roof more interesting without, you know, using construction anarchy. So these are all available in vanilla. So this is nice that it's a little bit um, indented here and there, every other cylinder, and makes the roof a little bit more interesting to look at than just a plain flat roof. So that is quite interesting. I do like how this looks. Um, some other tips and tricks I've learned. Let's make another little building over here. We'll make a three by th uh, two by three, and we'll do actually a smaller roof. So we can mess around with some other pieces. So like the metal pieces for example, I don't use them as intended sometimes. So like this normal metal piece, I will use this as a wooden roof because if we can paint it brown, it looks different and it has a texture to it. Now the only downside to this is that it has a sh shimmer to it. You know, it's like the darker actually. So I'm not gonna... So there is a darker shimmer and it does look like a better western looking roof but we need to add some other borders on it like the thicker border not the uh, cordonuses I think they're called cordonuses I can't really pronounce but I will do borders on top to give it that more of a definition and then cordonuses on the edges of the roof to give it that more structure and to give it that more detailed look and the roof is not as boring to look at anymore. Oh, also I like to add these little border arch pieces on the corners maybe to, to straighten out that edge so it looks like wooden timber. So right there it already looks better without when the roof is by it. When the roof is by itself it's not not that good to look at. It's actually very plain. Um, some other techniques I like to do also with roofing and design and this also goes in with the building design too is make little different elevations in roof um, placement. So let's go back to our original building. This Here's our original building and I want to do a smaller hedge out here. So I'm making this maybe a a garage or something off to the side. Here's the these roofs actually. So you can see what I'm going for. So there is a different level and it makes the building look more interesting than square. And then if I took this, which I could copy actually, let's just take these and copy these over. 
Um, copy. And just go find it. It's probably bigger than I need it to be, but it's okay. We can just hide the rest of it in there. And then we'll... Oh, come on. And then we'll go like this. Just to help it out. Where's my border? There's my border. Well, that's a different color. Let's change that, shall we? It's a little... There we go. So now these build it, these roofs match. Yeah, so when you're doing roofs and doing the same building, the roof should match sometimes. But there is a exception to the rule. Like, I would like to use these roofs as, like, your front awning. So let's say this is, like, my front porch. Yeah, this is my front porch right here. This is, would be my front porch. And then I do pillars to kind of help support that roof. You can see it here. Actually, this needs to be taller. There, there, there's my front porch, but it's a different roof. But it still works in together how it puts the building together. So we're not going to worry about the design of the building or what we're going for. But doing roofs like this helps in the way the roof is designed and how it doesn't look as boring anymore. Um, yeah, again, we did pieces that are different materials that I use for different purposes to make them look different. We can also venture on to the, these pieces. These are fun to use too. So I like to use these as tile roofing if I can't do construction anarchy. Actually, we'll just make them the same color as this and just replace it on this, this building here just to show you that it looks like tile roofing. So I'll just replace here. And there you go. It looks different and it looks sharper, cleaner. It just looks different and better on how the roof should look. And then let's do let's do some of these awnings. Let's show you what I use these awnings for too. These are supposed to go over doorways, but I choose not to because sometimes I like to make little overhangs. And this is a good effect without doing construction anarchy, so I'll do these little overhangs. And it actually works out pretty well. I can even do it on the lower sections of the building here, right here. These ones will do too. And there you already have ourselves a pretty interesting looking roof. Um, other details that would go on roofs would be smokestacks or chimneys. So I can do smokestacks and chimneys on the roofs like this. And it works. You can also do chimneys too, but that's also part of other like roof design. Um, what else is there to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, the pitches. These roof peaks. Roof peaks are good for two cases. Um, let's take this one. So roof pieces that I use, I use them for like a... I can do them as a, like a little window here, and then you put walls here to finish that out. Same thing with the high peak. But they also good for doing barn roofs. So I don't want to go into too much, like, there's so many roof designs you can do. But here, I'll show you some two roof designs that I know that I like to use to make my roofs a little, little bit more interesting. So here's the high peak roof. You can also do this with the uh, these peaks, but at a smaller scale. So instead of four squares across, you can do it at a three across. So there's two different styles, and you can flip it around. So instead of those like this, you can do it like this and do a barn shaped roof. This is also good for curvature roofs. I did this for my hangar for uh, my American Adventure Park. So this is also the same idea here too. So this works as well. So yeah, this is all the roofing that I know. It's, it's good to experiment with your roofs because once you get your roofing down, the building itself kind of like figures itself out. So this kind of irons itself out and then it finishes and then you're you're pretty good. So yeah, these are the roof designs that I know of. If I think of anything else, I might venture into maybe more detailing of some sort. But this is, yeah, this is it. This is the roof detailing that I know. And, and I hope this helps you in your future builds. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.